Hi folks, we're going to take a look at this question here that was on one of the uh, classroom worksheets. Uh, so let's read the question. It says that a clock has a minute hand that is 20 centimeters long and an hour hand that is 12 centimeters long. Calculate the distance between the tips of the hand at 2 o'clock. Okay, so first of all, we should draw ourselves a diagram. So we know that we've got the hands in a clock go around in a circle. Okay, now of course the minute hand we expect to be longer. Okay, so we'll start at the center, and we have to figure out where they're going to be at 2 o'clock. So at 2 o'clock, we've got that the minute hand, okay, will be facing the uh, 12 o'clock position, okay, and then the hour hand will be facing the 2 o'clock position, okay? So this is what the hands will look like. We know that we have this one here which is 20 centimeters, this one here which is 12. I try to draw them so that you know we can easily see that they're not the same length. And what we want is the distance between the two tips. Okay, So I'll draw that there and since that's what I'm looking for right off the bat I'm going to uh, give it a name. We'll call that X. Okay. Problem is, so a good thing is that we have a triangle to work with and we've got two pieces of information. The problem is that we need three in order to solve uh, a triangle. Okay, so we need to find something about this triangle. I already have two sides. The third side is what I'm looking for, so I need to be looking for an angle. Okay, and this is where now we're going to appeal to uh, one of our uh, geometry um, uh, things we know about geometry, which is that the angle in a circle, if I go all the way around the circle, is 360 degrees. Okay, so take the hour hand. What does it do? It goes around the circle, okay, 360 degrees. However, the hour hand at this point has only gone to 2 o'clock. Okay, so what we're going to do is we're going to calculate the number of degrees it moves in one hour. Okay, so since each of these numbers is equally spaced around the circle, one hour, okay, is going to be 360 degrees divided by 12. Okay, so it goes one twelfth of the way around in one hour. So one hour corresponds to 360 divided by 12. So we calculate that. Let's get some better light on here. 360 divided by 12, and here we've got 30. Okay, so one hour corresponds to 30 degrees. But since we're going to 2 o'clock, that's going to be uh, 2 times 30. So 2 o'clock, we've got 2 times 30 degrees. Okay, so 60 degrees. So now I have this angle inside the triangle, and I now have enough information to solve this problem. Okay, so since I don't have any side or opposite angle pair, I need to use the cosine law. So right off the bat, first thing I'm going to do is just write down the equation. Okay, and here what I'm looking for is this missing side x. So that's going to be my a. So x squared equals b and c are just the other two sides. So it doesn't matter which one is b, which one is c. I'll call 12b and 20c. Okay, and the angle that I need needs to be opposite to the x, which is the one we just determined, the 60 degrees. Okay, so here, this is good because on the right-hand side, it's all filled in with numbers, so I can just calculate that. Okay, so let's do that here, make sure we input it into the calculator correctly. So here we have 12 squared plus 20 squared minus 2 times 12 times 20 times cos of 60 degrees equals, okay, and we've got 304. Okay, and now of course to solve for x, I just have to take the square root of both sides, so square root of 304. Okay, so here I can either start over and take the square root of 304, but most uh, calculators have an answer button. This one here is just above the negative if you can see it. So what I can do is the square root of the answer. So second function that and it's going to give me the square root of 304. And here we'll take two decimal places. So 
0.44 and let's just go check our units our units are in centimeters so this will be 17.44 centimeters okay so again it was about using the cosine law but before we got there we had to draw a diagram figure out what triangle we were working with and we had to use one of our properties of geometry which is that the angle going around a full circle is 360 degrees. Okay, that's, that's it for this question.